you're keeping a close eye on your budget. This reliable workhorse of the Ryzen family is built on the Zen 3 architecture, which, you know, might not be the newest kit on the block, but it's still seriously capable. What I mean is, with 8 cores and 16 threads, this processor can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. It'll cruise through everyday tasks, and it's surprisingly good for gaming, too. In fact, it features a decent integrated graphics. You can game at a solid 1080p resolution right out of the box. That's a huge plus if you're not quite ready to invest in a separate graphics card just yet. Performance-wise, you get a base clock speed of 3.8 GHz, boosting up to 4.6 GHz when you need that extra oomph. And because it stays under 65 watt TDP, it's super power efficient as well. AMD even throws in a Wraith Stealth cooler to keep things running nice and cool, so you're good to go from the start. Now, as you might expect, there are a few trade-offs that keep the costs down. The 5700G uses the AM4 socket, so it doesn't support the latest PCIe 5.0 or 4.0. You'll also be using DDR4 RAM instead of the faster DDR5. That's why it is a great budget option. You might lose out on a little bit of speed, but you gain a lot of value. At number 4, we've got a real sweet spot in terms of price and performance within the AMD Ryzen 5 9600X. This one's a step up, moving to the newer Zen 4 architecture. What does that mean for you? Well, you're getting 6 cores and 12 threads, which is plenty for most gaming setups, offering a great balance. Think about it this way. You're getting a significant performance boost over our previous pick, but without spending a whole lot more. The processor's base clock speed sits at 3.8 GHz, and it can boost all the way up to 5.1 GHz. That's some serious speed when you need it. And, just like the 5700G, it has a TDP of 65 Watt. So, I mean, you're looking at a really efficient chip that won't turn your PC into a furnace. It's also why you will get AMD's Wraith Stealth Cooler bundled with it. Here's another thing about the Ryzen 5 9600X. It does support the newer AM5 platform. That means you can take advantage of PCIe 5.0 for super fast storage and graphics, and you can also use DDR5 RAM, which offers a big jump in memory bandwidth. However, you won't get the integrated graphics here. But that doesn't mean it's a deal breaker. After all, if you are looking to play AAA games, you'd get a dedicated graphics card anyway. So it's still a pretty decent deal, I'd say. And then, we get into some serious horsepower with the Ryzen 9 9950X, which is pretty much a statement for a mid-range gaming CPU from AMD. We're talking 16 cores and 32 threads of pure processing power. So, quite clearly, this thing is built for people who demand the absolute best, even if it's a bit overkill for most. The Ryzen 9 9950X can boost up to a staggering 5.7 GHz. I mean, that's blazing fast. It's built on the AM5 platform, which, as I said before, means it supports PCIe 5.0 and DDR5 RAM. Now, besides heavy gaming, this chip truly shines in creative work. If you're editing videos in Adobe Premiere or doing 3D rendering in Blender, this is where the 9950X really flexes its muscles. All those cores and threads translate directly into faster encoding and rendering, and you know time is money, especially if you do that stuff professionally. But here's the interesting part. While it's incredibly powerful across the board, it's not necessarily the absolute best for pure gaming. Don't get me wrong, it'll handle any game you throw at it, no problem. But there are other chips, we'll get to one of them in a bit that are specifically optimized for gaming performance. So, who is this for? Well, the Ryzen 9 9950X is a fantastic choice if your gaming PC also doubles as a creative workstation. After all, it's a true powerhouse that can handle anything you throw at it. So, if that's your case, this is absolutely your kind of processor. Next, we have quite a game-changer CPU within the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D. I say that because this processor is all about gaming. AMD has designed this specifically for gamers who want the absolute best performance, especially in those games that are really demanding on the CPU. It's got 16 cores and 32 threads, just like the 9950X we just talked about. But the 3D in the name is the key. It uses AMD's 3D vCache technology, which is this incredibly cool way of stacking extra memory, 128 megabyte of L3 cache, to be exact, directly on top of the processor. It's like giving your CPU a super fast shortcut to a huge pool of data. And in many games, that translates to a significant performance boost. In fact, numerous tests showed that it easily outperforms Intel's fastest chip ever, the 6.2 GHz Core i9-14900KS, by 10% on average and up to 40% plus in some games. And that's even after having a base frequency of 4.2 GHz that boosts up to 5.7 GHz. AMD also has a new thread targeting technique designed to help apply the gains more evenly across various games. You are also looking at support for all the modern stuff like 
DDR5, PCIe 5.0, and the latest USB standards. By the way, AMD has even included integrated graphics on this one, which is handy for troubleshooting. But remember, you'll need a beefy cooler for this chip, like those 240mm or 280mm AIO at a minimum. You'll also need a new AM5 motherboard and DDR5 RAM. That means you can't use the older ones. So everything considered, if you're building a no-compromise gaming rig and you want the absolute fastest gaming chip available, this is it. And finally, we've arrived at the top, the absolute champion, the number one pick, the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D. Now, remember how I said the 7950X3D was king of gaming? Well, this one takes that crown and runs with it. The 9800X3D is not just AMD's fastest gaming chip, it's the fastest gaming chip ever. It's beating the competition, even more expensive Intel and other Ryzen chips, and sometimes by a significant margin. I'm talking about up to 40% faster in some tests. It's also why it is a good value, even in the high performance category. So, what makes this chip so special? It has 8 cores and 16 threads, with a base clock of 4.7 GHz and a boost up to 5.2 GHz. But the real magic is, again, that 3D V-cache. This time, AMD has tweaked things, placing the extra cache, a whopping 96 MB of L3, underneath the main chip. Let me explain what it means. It means they not only improve the gaming performance, but it's also much better in regular applications compared to the other X3D chips. The results speak for themselves. This this thing delivers an incredibly smooth gaming experience, even in situations where your graphics card is the limiting factor. But the thing is, this chip, while being incredibly specialized, doesn't improve every single game. But it does have a positive impact on almost all of them. Here's another advantage. It uses the AM5 platform, so you get all the benefits of DDR5 memory and PCIe 5.0. You can even do some auto overclocking with Precision Boost Overdrive, PBO, and Curve Optimizer. And here's the really cool part. It uses way less power than the competition. That means it runs cooler, quieter, and you don't need to spend as much on a fancy cooler, motherboard, or power supply. So, in simple words, you're getting top-tier gaming performance without all the extra hassle and expense. So this is the gaming CPU to get, without a doubt. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.